Okay, what we consider an R rule? Under rules for sub, and this one will not be on subtraction rule. Remember in my previous discussion on rules of uh, sort, we look at addition rule and we said root A plus root B. Root A plus root B. Okay? We are having a situation like this. We are having a situation like this. Root A plus root B. You know what we did there? Okay. Well, for this one, we are looking at subtraction rule. It means that this one becomes minus. I will not have it as addition. Since we are not dealing with subtraction rule. Okay, now for A and B still represent an integer. Please don't forget. Still represent A and B still represent what? An integer. Okay, let me use 2 for example and use 7 here. Okay, this one is a solve. We have subtraction of 2 solve. Whenever I have a situation like this, now to solve this one, there is no solution. You don't have further solution to this. You have to leave it like that. Okay, another one again uh, is this a minus root b. Okay, can you see? Now you can see that one of it is having a root. Maybe one of it is a sub. Okay. Now, for example, let me use an integer to represent a and b to represent what? An integer. Okay. Now let me see here two, and here is what? Zero. Okay. Now for this one, there is no further solution. Leave it like that. There is no further solution. Okay, let me also leave the root on A and remove the one on B. Okay, for example, like this. Meaning A and B still represent an integer. Let me say root A minus zero. There is no further solution to this. Okay, there is no further solution. Now let us look at the next one, which is root 4. And that one has to do with common roots. Common roots. For example, like this root A minus root A. Therefore, this one becomes zero. Okay, another one is okay. Now another one. Another one is this x root a minus y root a. Can you see? We still have the common roots. Therefore, for this one, you can see it simply means x minus y root a. That is what this one means. Okay. Now all these represent an integer. So okay, let me now use a number to represent them. Now. Let me use a number to represent them. For example, if you have root uh, 3 minus root 3, therefore the answer here is 0. The answer here is 0. Okay, let me take this one. Okay, let me use this one. For example, if you also have for this one, we have 2 root 5 minus 3. Okay, let me say, okay, let me say, uh, yeah, let me say, okay, let me say 3, of course. Let me say 3 root 5. For example, like this very one. 3 root 5. Okay, now for this one, it means that you can see we have here as x, we have here as y. We simply minus, we simply mean minus what that is the back of the roots. Okay, now here we call root 5. Minus this becomes negative, become minus 1 root 5. Therefore, everything there is going to be minus root 5. Minus to 5. Okay, that's what we have there. Minus to 5. Okay, let me now simplify this one. Let me now simplify this one. Simplify, simplify. Okay, we have 2 root 3 minus, minus. Okay, let me change here to x. Let me make clear x. 8 root 3 minus 2 root 27. Let me make it like this. Okay, we can solve this one very well. Now we cannot apply this rule to solve this. We cannot apply this rule to solve this. This one is a situation. We cannot apply this first one to solve this. The only way to solve this is to use this rule four to solve. Okay. Now to solve this very one here, it's very simple. Let us see. We have eight to three. Okay. We have eight to three. 8 root 3 minus 2 root 27. Then what can we do here? What can we do here? Okay, for this first one, we said 8 root 3. This very first one, 8 root 3, we cannot reduce this one. This one remain like that. We cannot reduce this one. This one become 8 root 3, remain like that. For this one, I can reduce because 9 times 
3. Okay? That God have the 9 times 3 to himself. 9 times 3 to himself. It means that for this one now, for this part now, I simply need root 9, root 9 times root 3. This one is a rational number. Remember, I told you that all perfect squares are a rational number. Therefore, a solution to this very one, before this, no solution. I will have to repeat it. Okay? Become 3 times root 3. 3 times root 3 becomes 3 root 3. Okay? Now for this part now, we're going to say 8 root 3 minus 2 times 3 root 3. 3 root 3. Okay? Okay? I think we understand that very well there. Okay? I think we are okay with that. We are okay with that. Okay. Now let me remove this one now. I already have used it already. Okay, now we can proceed. Now I can multiply here now. I can multiply here. This very one becomes 6 root 3. Becomes 6 root 3. Can you see now that we are using this test, this second one, or this root 4? This is one, this is one we are using now. S. You can see that it represents S, this represents Y. And we have a common root. What do you do? You simply minus, minus them. And you see X minus Y, 8 minus 6, I will have 2. Okay, since we have a common root, just take it, become root 3. This one become root 3. Become 4, root 3. This one become the final solution there. That is the final solution. To this very problem, to this very one. Okay, I think at this point I can stop. This one is just the second rule, subtraction rules. Okay, now please join me all in my next class, and that will be on multiplication rule. Okay, we are going to be dealing with times in the next uh, discussion. We are going to be dealing with times. Please don't forget to join me on my Facebook page, the Vijon Online Mathematics. That is the name of the page. The Bijon Online Mathematics. And also join me on my YouTube channel. Okay? That one is Mathematics Science Mega Tutorial. Enter your YouTube. Okay? Search for your type Mathematics Science Mega Tutorial. When you enter your YouTube, type Mathematics Science Mega Tutorial. You will definitely have you there. Please don't forget to subscribe as you enter the YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe so that whenever we upload or whenever we are on the platform, you will have a notification. Okay, that's the reason why you must subscribe. Okay, at this point, I can stop here. Please uh, join me in my next class as we consider multiplication of salt. Okay, that was the next rule. All the best. God bless you.